I'm not a foodie. I don't... Oh, this is too rare. Oh, it's too salty. Just eat it and shut up. I'll eat anywhere, whatever they're having. I have eaten rolls off of room service trays in hotel hallways. I have. That's not a joke. This is my life. I don't know. Somebody left it. What is it? Why would somebody poison a roll and leave it in the hallway with some comic coming down at 2 o'clock in the morning? Why would they do that? Sometimes you go to a nice restaurant to put the check in a little book. What is this, the story of the bill? <laughs> Once upon a time, there were some very hungry people. What, what is this? Little gold tassel hanging down. Am I graduating from the restaurant? What is this about? You want some of mine? Take some of mine. Why do I get pesto? Why do I think I'll like it? I keep trying to like it. It's like I have to like it. Who said you have to like it? Everybody likes pesto. You walk into a restaurant, that's all you hear. Pesto, pesto, pesto. I don't like pesto. Where was pesto 10 years ago? Look at that guy. I bet she's getting hair transplants. Anytime you see a guy that age wearing a baseball cap, 10 to 1, plugs. Um, the thing about that painting is with the colors and, um... Oh, yeah, plug Ola. Oh, one more thing about the car. Let it warm up for a minute. Yeah, that's a tough minute. It's like waiting in the shower for the conditioner to work. I don't understand why I couldn't take a cab. Who? Elaine is having a, uh, house guest. She's picking him up at the airport tonight. A guy? Yes, a guy. He's from uh, Yakima, right? <laughs> Seattle. Everybody's moving to Seattle. It's the pesto of cities, so? Oh, well, you tell. Well, from what I can piece together, our friend here met a gentleman. Ed. Who uh, was in town on a business venture, and... Uh, we, uh... Shared an interpersonal experience. <laughs> so they went out a few times. But apparently when the fellow returned home, he discovered that the Venice tattoo does not wash off so easily. On some people. <laughs> so he's coming in to stay with her for a week. It was just going to be a weekend, but then somehow it became a week. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, All right, all right. Okay, great. All right, all right. Okay. What happened? Oh, the, uh, the busboy left the menu a little close to the candle. I'm sorry for the disturbance. I'm never eating here again. Yeah. <laughs> mm, nice going. Thank you. Yeah. That ought to get us a free dessert. Yeah. I think the busboy's in trouble. Did I get him in trouble because of what I said? I just told him what happened. He didn't do it on purpose. He pointed at me. Why did they point at me? I said I would never eat here again, but I, I, I he had to know I was kidding. I didn't say anything. <gasps> I can't believe it. He's going. He's fired. Oh, I said it in a kidding way. I, I didn't know he could fire it. He'll probably kill his family over this. <laughs> what if he's waiting for me outside? He pointed at me. Did you see him point? A lot of ex-cons become busboys. <laughs> They seem to gravitate towards it. Was it my fault? Was it my fault? Maybe I'll try that pesto. <laughs> Look, I feel bad for him, too, but he'll get another job. I mean, let's face it, it's not a profession where you embellish your resume and undergo a series of grueling interviews. <laughs> like you really know busboys. Oh, like you do. Hey, at least I was a camp waiter. Camp. It was a fat camp. Those kids depended on me. Elaine? Yeah. Us boys are always changing jobs. That's the business. I know. I work with these guys. I talk with them at the kitchens at the comedy clubs. Well, then why don't you try to get them another job? I'd love to.